go through the various tools that are available through the IQ board software. First one we see up here is handwriting recognition. And what this does is it takes your ordinary handwriting and turns it into text. So we'll try it out here. test for handwriting recognition and as you can see it works pretty well even though my handwriting isn't very good and just in case we got it wrong it'll give you a choice of other words to write in in each, each case so it can be very handy just to use your ordinary handwriting and turn it into text so that it's actually legible um, the next tool we look at is the spotlight and what the spotlight will do is it will highlight any particular area and this spotlight can be, uh, can be changed to a particular size that might suit and we can also um, down here we can change the shape of the spotlight so if we want a triangle instead we can have a triangular shape or any one of a variety of shapes we can also have a transparency where the background can be seen so that the class can see the full background of everything that's there but just highlight where the actual uh, spotlight is. Um, we can also change the background to colour and we can change the background picture for this. The next thing under tools is the reveal screen. This can be very, uh, very useful, especially if you have questions and answers. So the reveal screen gives you a black screen, which you can reveal whatever part of the screen that you require. And again, let the class only see that part. And that screen can be, can be revealed from any one of the four directions. So we can and reveal for any direction. Uh, more than that, we have choices down here again for the reveal method. So if you want to reveal from the center and reveal up, you can do that. Just like having a big screen in front of the uh, in front of your whiteboard. And we can also reveal uh, left to right. So again, as we can see, it's all very, very nice and easy. It's all recognized by the touch. And again, we can have transparencies, the same things as we could with the spotlight transparencies, background pictures, and so on. The next tool is the highlighter. And the highlighter basically allows you to cut holes in, in a screen. So if we drill a hole here, it'll cut a hole. So whatever shape of hole you would like to cut, it will cut in the screen. So that can be handy for, for many ways, especially in playing games. Guess what's going to come up in the, in, in the, in the hole that you cut. And again, we have the same options for, um, for we could have multi-spotlights, uh, we could have background colours, uh, change the transparency and so on. 